All right, hopefully. Looks like we're live, guys. We're gonna do this unboxing, Zoo or Zoo, Signature Series, Remarks, all that type of good stuff. Um, please share us out so people know what's going on. Don't forget to swing by the website and uh, subscribe to our newsletter there. I only see one person, and that might be you. Yeah, it might be me. We're gonna wait a little bit for some people to come in, guys. Derek's in here. Hey, Derek. Derek, what's going on, brother? So, we got the Zoo or Zoo goodness right here. All right, we're gonna wait. Please share us out, Derek. We definitely appreciate it. Trying to get a few more people in here. We're on YouTube, also on my YouTube channel, because for whatever the heck reason, YouTube wasn't gonna let us stream from mobile, you know, to the EC channel. Kind of craziness, but um, okay, whatever. And does everybody know where to go? They're probably not gonna know that, unfortunately. Um, yeah, so, but other people will get notified. You know, gotta love uh, YouTube throwing us for nice little loops. Who else we got? Uh, okay, come on, guys. Let's get in here. All right, well, I guess we'll just start going. So, the story with this is basically it's been like a year and a half. This has been a big, long process. Um, books got, we initially had to send them to the UK for uh, Annabelle Kirby, Kirby Comic Art, to um, get them and then forward them off to Zoo in Singapore. Then Zoo had them for like eight months because uh, of COVID and working on them and whatnot. And then uh, finally they got sent to CGC and sat there for forever. So, let's see, man. We got a few uh, of everything that we sent. Like, as far as the remarks and stuff, guys, I have no idea what these are going to look like. All right, so this is in uh, the Exo Mono War. And she gave us another Auric uh, in the background there, and then she signed it in um, pink. So let's see if we can get some close-ups of that. Facebook, we can just throw it on our beacon. Yeah, we can throw it on that chair. Definitely awesome. Okay, next. Oh, this is RV9. And, um,. She did another little head sketch there up in the corner. Got a couple different colors going on. She used like, um, looks like a blue and uh, a red to do that. <laughs> oh, yeah, that no, just goes to the, the P.O. box. So it's not the end of the world. So that is a cool piece right there. That one signed too? Yep. With art? Yep, signed with a uh, remark. Multicolor remark there, which is kind of cool. Let's see. Well, I guess we can kind of move them. It might get a little bit confusing, but that way they can at least.
least get the close up on the B camera. Okay, so here's another RB9, and this one is signed with like a metallic uh, gray down in the corner. Oh, that looks good. Yeah. up an exo uh, virgin so she signed this one in and black actually like she signed this one twice maybe she signed the other one twice too so she signed the um the remark also as well as the cover oh she did yep yeah yeah the remark is signed and her signature and color that's kind of cool i like how she did that yep i also like how the the artwork matches the cover. This is really cool. up is another Exo Monowar, and this one is signed. Nine point eight. I can't believe this traveled halfway around the world and back and got a nine point eight. Yep. Yeah, I mean, that's it's really cool. amazing, and and you know was out of our possession for over a year and stayed at a stayed. Night point eight. The signatures are so well placed it looks like it should be there. Yep. Mm -hmm. Alright, another RV9, uh, basically very similar uh, with the sketch and signature. Another RV9. This one's got the signature down on the bottom. Guys, this is this is just a flat out miracle. We got a nine nine. <laughs> and this one is uh, a remark 
touching evil. No way. Version. This one's only limited to 75 copies, guys. Oh. <laughs> and she's got um, two colors, and she drew a couple little skulls there, too. Awesome. She signed this one one time, where, where we got the uh, remark. Nine nine traveled halfway around the world and back. Sat in Singapore for eight months. You ever see ten so often? Like, and they're very super. extremely rare. Yeah. Hey, Art uh, Chemist, what's going on, brother? Um, now the source point books, they are like a higher quality print. So it would be slightly easier for a book like that to make a nine nine, but um, still. Derek said in Singapore is so hot and humid. Oh right. That's like so think, true. That's a the, good the, point. The uh, paper would just suck up that yeah. humidity and swell. <laughs> so she put a few skulls on the bottom to match. I like how she does that. She's always matching the covers. Um, yeah, art chemist. So Zoo or Zoo and David Mack are a thing. So they definitely influence each other. Um, you know, they've been dating for a few years, I guess. All right, another touching evil. Um, Man Cave Chronicles said nice. Yes, right? So here's another one, uh, similar. This one's got uh, another skull. So this one's got like three skulls. And it looks like she used um, some red for the lips. So just a slightly different remark. Mm -hmm. right. Also, um, the art chemist said, cool cover reminds me of David Mack. Yeah. Yeah, Zoo and David Mack have been dating for at least about two or three years, I think. So they definitely influence each other. Um, I think that Dave and Mac adopted from Zoo her little stamp signature that she puts on all of her covers because he does that too now. So in uh, Asian countries, the stamp is actually your signature. They take that as your signature. And um, usually the best ones are hand carved. That way it has its own fingerprint yeah um but yeah when you sign stuff you carry around a stamp and you stamp it as you that sounds way easier than having to sign my name all the time yeah but signing your name you know you've got your muscles involved and your own personality and stuff and yeah but my muscles suck <laughs> <laughs> oh. well i think i think the future is going to be um nft signatures yeah jimmy can you turn that like end one in a little crypto bit signatures mm -hmm. the reflection is much better. Is this one okay? Yeah, that one, yeah. See, now, now I can't see. <laughs> oh. <laughs> That's all right. All right. Next up. All right, here's a shadow service. So this one's got a sketch kind of right in the middle. Uh, of a face in blue predominantly and then she signed it down uh, at the bottom near her stamp and we had uh, Kim K was talking about wanting one of these yeah our chemist uh, anyone can replicate a stamp and that's what I always thought too uh, when I lived in Japan I thought well they actually have places that sell multiple stamps of the same exact name, and you're like, well, how is this uh -huh. any good? Um, and uh, forensics say they can tell the difference, but and some of them were made out of plastic, so they're oh, just man. molded and stained. Yeah, I know. So this one, this one's just signed, or is there? No, it's got a remark in right in the center, right like. Oh, I see it. There it is. Oh, oh, oh. It's trying to focus on the reflection here. Oh, 
This one, she put the year down there. Yeah, some of them she was dating with the year. Yeah, she... I like it, it's all creative. Oh, another Exxon Modern one. Like this one is just signed. I mean, none of these got damaged going back and forth. I, it's just insane, right? Uh, no, I, mean, I thought maybe you sent more than this and a few got damaged or something. No, this is all of them. Jeez. Yeah, actually, yeah, no. That's impressive. This got cover of the year? Yep. Cover uh, of the year for 2020 by Valiant Comic Fans. Already shown like this. Oh, another shadow service. And this one, a uh, similar sketch in the middle. We'll sign it on the bottom. I actually still have my stamps from Japan somewhere in case I need to s sign something. <laughs> <laughs> well, I would think that the, the stamp along with the signature would be pretty bulletproof. No, they don't. They don't do it. It's so weird, especially on official documents. So my, my grandparents had two different stamps, official document stamps and just your normal everyday stamp. And the official document stamp was made out of like ivory or some kind of carved stone. And that was not traceable. You know, that mm -hmm. one you can't um, copy. Move the camera down just a so little this, bit. This one is signed. Service number one. Do you know the story behind Shadow Service? Because it's got to do with all these like. Yeah, she's um. It's kind of like uh. She's like uh, FBI, but not FBI. So it's kind of like FBI meets witchcraft. Mm -hmm. So she would use witchcraft to hunt people down. What's in her hand, though? She's got uh, it's some... a nail gun. So, like, she picks up a nail gun in, in this issue and starts using that. Because she doesn't have, like, a, a regular gun. Um, and it's do, na do nails fly straight? Does anybody know that? Has Mistbusters I've ever... I've never tried, because it's like... Oh, yeah, you should know that out of all people. The, the nail guns, they, they, they have, like, a, a thing on them. You have to have it fully depressed to shoot. So you would never be able to pick up a nail gun and use it like a gun. Huh? You would actually have to modify it to remove that safety mechanism. Yeah, but do the nails fly straight through the air, though? I assume I they know. tumble never, right I've away. I've never modified a nail gun. It, to... Aerodynamically, it does have that, that backing, so it could it fly might. a little straight. It might. Uh, you just ruined all the movies for me. Right, like. every movie ruined. <laughs> that involved a nail gun, at least. <laughs> so here's another one. Um, shadow service sign. Yeah, I'll have to look at um, the original art that I have that Zoo did, like her actually, because she used, would have actually used her stamp to stamp that. And um, like it does not look as perfect as it does on the the comics. You know, I think they they mm -hmm. digitally touch it up. So maybe. You know, there's some imperfections in there that, that someone could figure out if it was a real stamp or not. But what would have been cool is if, like, your grandparents passed those stamps down to you. I have them. Oh, but, but you can't, like, take them over and say, this is my stamp now? No. Uh, yeah, I don't know. I don't know about that. That's a good question. If you inherit mm -hmm. stamps as as a signature, I would definitely start using it because they were really nice. So this one's um, signed in sketch and, and she signed it in, um, in like a pink. It's kind of cool, make that signature pop against that uh, black and white. Too. 
Uh, this one won't focus. No. I don't know. Not bad. Not bad. Yeah, right there, perfect. Right there is the touch. I like how on these she wrote touch, though. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, now touching evil man, that needs to get picked up. I mean, like, I seriously... Like, if, if we had a little more money, I would throw money at it and try and option it and get it developed. It's so good. The story is just phenomenal. Um, you know, she's basically a lawyer, so it's, it's kind of like Law and Order meets Supernatural. Hmm. So That's an awesome storyline already. Just, yeah, it's so good, dude. So she's a lawyer, and uh, basically what happens is her boss, who's her, like, mentor. Spoiler alert. Yeah, well, I mean, the, the book's been out for a long time, so I only really read the first issue, but one of these days I have to pick up the, the trades because it's, it's up to probably issue 17 or 18 now. So, I mean, you can sit down and, and binge the whole thing. But uh, what happens is the, her boss goes, hey, you know, my first case, everyone remembers their first case, and, you know, I've, I've kept up with this guy my whole time because he was the first case I ever had. He's been in prison his whole life. You know, and, you know, I, every periodically I'd go visit him, and I'm just not in good enough physical health to go visit him. The guy's in his 90s, you know, and his, his last surviving family member that, that he knows um, that or that he's ever met in person has just passed away, his sister. I'll, I'll try and do this and talk at the same time. So another XO Monowar signed and sketched. Derek said, this must be like Christmas after so long and all these great grades. Oh, yes, definitely, man. Um, and then we'll get them. If anyone wants one of them, you can comment or email us at exchangecollectibles.com or eclivesales.co. And we'll get them, you know, in the process of listing on the website. But uh, you guys can claim them now if you... Somebody's going to be like, I want the 9.9. .9. <laughs> yeah, right. I don't even know how to price that. <laughs> I know? was just going to say that. That's the thing is like, this so is probably the, on, price the, the only one, right? I mean, yeah, it's, how it's do you price something be, that's the only it's one? It's just going to be crazy. So anyway, so Anna, that's, that's the main character. So she goes to the prison for her boss because he isn't in good enough help to make the, the trip. And, you know, her boss reminds him, he's like, look, you know, this guy's 90. But when you look at him, he looks 18. And she was like, huh? Okay, this doesn't make any sense. So she goes through the prison, and, you know, she gets all the warnings from the guys. They're like, whatever you do, do not touch this guy. You know, he's very dangerous. Just stay away. If you need help, we'll, we'll come, you know, we'll, we're on the other side of the wall. So the guy comes in, and it's like a young black guy. He looks 18. And she was like, wow. You know, but she said when he looked at his eyes... You could see the age that he was 90. Oh, sounds like me. Yeah, so you could see it in his eyes, but <laughs> his body looked like he was 18. So, uh, there's another RV9. Signed and sketched. So, she ends up talking to him for a little bit. Oh, well, it's nice and clear. Um, and uh, basically, she goes, you know, I have some bad news, and uh, your sister has passed away. And then so the guy kind of starts to get real emotional, but he's actually happy, you know? And she's like, well, I don't understand why you're happy. And then he goes, I've been trapped in here for so long. And the only thing they had over me was my family. You know, they said that if I didn't do what they wanted, they would kill my family. You know, he says, now all the family that I've ever met is passed away. They have nothing to hold against me now. I don't have to listen to them. And then, uh, and she was like, okay, well, that's kind of strange. And then, so he looks at her and he goes, look, if I tell you something, will you, will you listen? And she's like, well, sure. You know, she's like, no, I need to hear, you have to say, yes, I will listen. So he repeats the question and she goes, yes, okay, I'll listen. And then he grabs her hand and then, you know, grabs her hand and then immediately starts chanting like, you know, this kind of poem. Mm -hmm. I don't remember exactly how the poem went. 
but basically what he was doing was transferring his power into her. So what ends up happen happening is she has the ability, if she touches someone and they're deemed evil by whoever, God or creator or, or the A higher universe source. or whatever, uh -huh. then that person instantly dies and then their soul gets trapped inside of her head. What? So yeah, there's some crazy scenes like you know they they show that younger guy in prison, where you know they would, uh, the warden like if he wanted to kill a prisoner, he would put that prisoner in a bunk bed with that guy, because he knows it's just Whoa. a matter of time before they yeah, try to attack him or they touch him and they're dead, you know? Because everybody, well, maybe everybody in prison. Everyone evil. in prison is, and the and the crazy thing is, the end of the story is just sick, dude. The, the end of the issue, she's like, uh, she was uh, a lawyer for a mob guy in New York, right? And so the mob guy, she got him off, right, on some technicality. And the guy was like, you know, oh my God, Anna, thank you so much. You know, I'm going to change my life. This is my second chance. I'm going to do this. I'm going to do that. Like, he was sincere about wanting to change his life. And then he accidentally touches her. Dead. You know? Oh, so it's right then and there. Yes. Instantly. Oh, so what does she do? Now she's like she's freaking a out, murderer. Right? Yeah, because <laughs> the thing is, she doesn't... Like, she was in a daze for, for the whole rest of the issue because when that power went into her, she just, you know, she, she didn't have, you know, her full cognitive thought. You know, so when that guy touched her, right, he just instantly dies, and then he fell right onto, like, a poker that holds, like, paper that you'd stab, you know, tickets uh -huh. on or whatever. So a poker right into the eye, right? Like, bam! You know, it looks like someone just shoved him down. So then his son, which is, like, a total asshole, comes running up. What the F did you do to my dad? Pulls out her his gun, starts lighting her up, and then he rushes her and then touches her, dead you know and then another guy comes it's like oh my god oh my god touches her dead you know it's like three or four people die and she's sitting there like what in the hell is going on and she's got like bullet holes in her but she's completely invincible like the when you have that that curse or the gift or whatever you want to call it, you're completely invincible they, oh, you cannot they this is gonna be a movie it's I the, think TV shows. Right, right, a TV series incredible. like Netflix or, or Dude, let that happen. Or Disney Plus. No. <laughs> let that happen and and watch what those books are gonna be worth. That is so cool. Alright, another touching evil. Let me just read this one. Let me, yeah, can right, I? crack the nine nine and read it. <laughs> um signed with that pink again, which is kinda cool. Really makes that cover pop. Or the signature pop against the cover, really. Yeah, I like the good. All right, one more. Oh my god. No way. What? Another one, guys. Signed um, with like a turquoise color that just really perfectly goes with the, the book, too. Another flipping nine. nine. Oh, that one's signed. So this one's signed and remarked. Put that on the hot seat. Yes. That uh, is awesome. Anyone on YouTube, uh, there's another set of cameras on a different channel that has another <laughs> camera over there. So yeah, over in over case you were wondering, our, our Facebook page. So we're streaming both of the live at the same time. So. That's why we're showing it to both cameras and such. And then we've got our B camera on Facebook, so we, we can take advantage of that too. But yes, guys, so please let us know. Anyone, if you're interested in any of these books, 
uh, we can give you guys first crack before we get them um, on the website. And um, yeah, I think that's all for our little live unboxing of zoo stuff. Um, make sure you get over to our website, guys. Let me pull out that uh, flyer again. If you are fans of Zoo, we are going to have a House of Slaughter cover coming. Um, we're probably going to release it here in the next couple weeks. So get over to the website, subscribe to the newsletter so you can be notified when um, that cover releases. We got some other stuff that we're doing too in the meantime, but House of Slaughter is going to be a beast of a, a book, man. So Zoo is on that. She's done a great job with the cover. Boom won't let us show it to anyone. Um, so I know some people are selling them sight unseen. I want you guys to be able to see what you're getting. So we're going to wait um, until we're able to show it off properly. And uh, yes, so we're going to try and do this again with Zoo. You know, we've got the uh, Shadow Man cover that we need to send off. And then some of these House of Slaughters, when we get them, like to get those all sent off to uh, kind of do the same thing. So that'll probably be like <laughs> another know, like year. year and a half later <laughs> or something. We'll be, you know, talking about those. But um, it, it might be quicker just to give her a plane ticket over here. Right. I mean, the thing is, she's going to be at New York Comic Con, but we won't have those other books by then. Hmm. So we could get Shadow Man over to her, um, but uh, I really want to get House of Slaughter too because that's just going to be a beast of a book. It's, it's so heavily anticipated. But uh, yeah, so I think that's it, guys. Um, please go sub up to that newsletter so you can see when the other stuff comes. Um, Zoo did a great job on these sketches. They really look great, and I can't believe we got two nine nines. That is just... Uh, craziness right there you know uh, halfway around the world and back and sat in Singapore for eight months and somehow is a nine nine but smagoo but McGee, she's gonna be happy yeah yeah so <laughs> I know Kim K wants one of these um, so we'll we'll see her uh, on Saturday I guess if she doesn't make it right now but um, yes so there it is man Nice. Zoo or Zoo unboxing with two nine nines, man, that that is some craziness. Awesome. Cool. Thanks so much, guys. We'll catch you later. Thanks, guys. I can't see that screen.